Yeah, today we have exercise 10.3, visualizing solid shapes. Question number one, can a polyhedron have for its faces three triangles and four triangles? There is another one third part in this uh, question number one, but uh, let us go into the part number one and part number two. First of all, we must understand that to create any of the polyhedron, we must have at least four number of faces, four number of at least four faces, four polygons, four polygons you can say, faces means polygons, polygons. Four polygons can create, at least four polygons can create one polyhedron. So the answer for the first one, first part is no, whereas uh, for the second part it is yes, okay. So we have three triangles here so these three triangles when taken together they cannot complete a polyhedron and cannot form a closed kind of three-dimensional figure so in case of uh, the part number two if we have three triangles uh, four triangles say if we have four triangles then th one of the triangle can be taken as a base and all three triangles can be taken as the little surfaces so that we can create a closed polyhedron so it is possible in case of second part third part is uh, can a polyhedron have for its faces third part a square and four triangles yes of course there are these are four components in total four components in total i am just trying one of the available diagram that can be created by using the square as a base and the three four triangles as little surfaces and we can somehow create a square pyramid here isn't it so answer would be yes question number two is it possible to have a polyhedron with any number of faces? I have told you earlier that if we want to create a, any polyhedron, then minimum four number of faces are required to get a closed 3D shape, right? So whenever we have four or more faces we have or four or more polygons we have, we can create a polyhedron. So answer is yes, we can create we can say we can create we can have a polyhedron a poly a polyhedron we can have a polyhedron if we have if we have four or more faces that's all next question is question number three which are prisms among the following uh, first of all we must under try to understand what are prisms prisms are three-dimensional polyhedrons having the same base any base you can say having the same base and the top if the base and the top are congruent if the base and top are congruent then that particular diagram is a belonging to the prism family so the first one is a nail here we have a vertex and a circle so nail is not belonging to the prism family uh, the second one is unsharpened pencil so unsharpened pencil 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 we have so this is something having the same base and the top so this one is this diagram is belonging to the prism family. Next one is a tabletop as, as shown in the figure. It is uh, having a quadrilateral at the base and a vertex at the top. So it is uh, belonging to the pyramid family, not the prism family. So this one is not actually belonging to the prism family. And a box, a box, uh, this is a cubical or cuboidal box uh, as uh, constructed in a diagram. So this one is having a same base and the same top, congruent base and top. So this one is also belonging to the prism family. 
इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर हाउ आर प्रिजम्स एंड सिलेंडर्स अलाइक प्रिजम्स प्रिजम्स एंड सिलेंडर्स अलाइक सो प्रिजम्स इन प्रिजम्स वी हैव द बेस एंड टॉप आर सेम इन द प्रिजम्स वी हैव बेस एंड टॉप आर सेम आई हैव ट्राइड वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल and uh, similarly in case of a cylinder the base and top are same so even though the lateral surface is a curved surface in a case of a cylinders if i if i repeatedly increase the number of faces inside number of faces in the lateral faces in case of the prisms it it will try to become a cylinder so what is the resemblance between these two both the base and top in both of the cases in in case of the prisms and in case of the cylinders both the base and top are same so this is one of the resemblance between the prisms and the cylinders the next one is how are pyramids and cones alike so i just want to show you the resemblance between the pyramids and the cones in the pyramids we have a base and a common vertex at the top common vertex at the top similarly in case of a cone we have a base though it is not this base is not a polygon but even then we have a vertex common vertex at the top so this is one of the resemblance between the pyramids and the cones in the pyramid family if the lateral faces are increased infinitely many then it will try to become a cone if the lateral faces are increased little faces are increased to infinite number of faces then it will try to tend it will try to become a cone the base is a face is one of the face and a common vertex in both of the cases so this is the resemblance between the pyramids and the cones the next question asked in question number 5 is a square prism same as a cube uh, whenever the base and top are the squares it is known as a square prism so it is a cube of course it is a cube but when the base and top are taken as a squares and little faces are taken as rectangles it is again a square prism so it is not a it is not a cube so this is the wrong statement that a square prism is as same as a cube so it is not true in the diagram number 2 we have to count number of faces the vertices and edges a little bit of tricky question so number of faces the bottom face we have a uh, four little faces 4 plus 1 five faces we have at the bottom diagram four little triangles so 5 plus 4 now this face is not to be included in the counting of the faces why let me tell you this is actually the face is inside inside this is the face exactly inside the diagram so whatever the face in between the the diagram the polyhedron we cannot count it as a face so this one is not a countable face for us so so number of faces are 9 let us count number of vertices number of vertices four vertices at the bottom uh, four vertices at the middle and one at the top which is actually counting to 9 face 9 vertices we have so the number of edges four num four at the bottom four at the lateral edges four as the uh, middle diagram you can say middle side we have 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is 12 edges we have here and four uh, are containing these four triangles so another four edges we have so number of edges are 16 So let us put all the entries into the Euler's formula. F plus V minus E is equal to two. So if we try to verify, number of faces are nine. 
number of vertices are again 9 and number of edges count is 16 so whenever we actually add them and subtract to 16 add these 19 and 9, 9 and 9 is 18 minus 16 which is equal to 2 hence the both of the diagrams the first one and the second one are actually verifying the Euler's formula using this Euler's formula we have f plus v minus e is equal to 2 we will try to find out uh, some missing entries here so here we have three questions the first one the first one the second one and the third one we have in the very first one the faces are unknown vertices are 6 and edges are 12 so all you have to do is just in the first one question uh, faces right faces are as f plus vertices we have vertices plus 6 minus minus edges count that is 12 and which will be equal to 2 so this is f is equal to 2 plus 12 minus 6 so number of faces we have is 14 minus 6 which is equal to 8 so here we will have 8 similarly in the part number 2 number of faces are given 5 you remember about this formula this is 5 I am putting all the values here 5 plus V we have V is not given so write it simply V minus number of edges are given 9 so 9 and answer is always 2 so this is your second part so this is V is equal to 2 plus 9 minus 5 which is equal to 11 minus 5 actually 6 so we will enter here 6 in the very third component we have third part we have in the very third part number of faces are given 12 uh, number of faces are given 20 20 here we have 20 number of vertices number of vertices are given 12 so plus 12 plus 12 minus number of edges are not given so simply write them as e and answer is 2 according to the Euler's formula f plus v minus e is equal to 2 so this is 20 plus 12 that is 32 minus e is equal to 2 so what is e? e is equal to 32 minus 2 32 minus 2 that is equal to 30 we have so here we should enter 30 so that's it